Hey everyone, it is Shipwreck Samantha here, and today I'm going to be giving you a review of my somewhat new iPad Pro. I've had it for a couple weeks now, and I am really excited to share with you everything I've learned on it and what I think about it. There are a lot of artists that seem to be hesitant on whether this is a good device for them or not, so I thought I would share what I think about it and how much I like it because I know I did a lot of research on reviews before I bought it to decide whether it was right for me or not. Now, I, ha I got the gold, um, I have a pro, I also got the 128 gig because this is basically replacing my laptop, which I will discuss later. I'm not going to go too much into the details of the device itself, but ba mainly more for artists and what it can be used for and its potential. So as you can see, I have it in a Autobox. I definitely recommend getting this case. If you are looking to get an iPad Pro, it is a good investment to have it protected. And this has everything you need. It has three layers to the case, but again, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. But I'm going to pop it off of here, and this is my favorite part about the case. Right here, there is a holder for the Apple Pencil, and you can see it stays in there really well, and it's encased inside the case which is something I just absolutely love because a lot of people said they didn't like the Apple Pencil because it didn't magnetically stick to the side of the tablet like it does with the Wacoms, such as like the Cintiqs. Which does it, I, I've never worked with Cintiq before, does it stick to the side? I don't know. I actually was originally going to get a Wacom Cintiq before the iPad Pro came out, but then when I found out about the iPad Pro, I knew this was for me just because I love Apple products and it's something I don't have to relearn because I would have to learn all the new specs about the Cintiq that I don't know about and don't understand. So I was really glad they came out with this. So we're going to start. I'm going to go ahead and take out the pencil. It just slides out and put that aside. This is also a stand as well, which is really nice. Anyways, I'm going to start ra stop ranting about the case. Now we're going to turn it on. I really love the finger scan. Oh, I had Netflix running. <laughs> Hold on. Come on. There we go. Uh, that. <laughs> so I love the fingerprint scan. My dad said on his iPhone 5 as he had issues with the thumbprint scan and that it wouldn't work a lot of the time. They've definitely made improvements since then with their iPad Pro because I haven't really had any issues with the thumbprint scan. As for the pencil, a lot of people say Ah, shoot, it's dead. I've got to charge it, so let me do that while I'm talking. <laughs> so, a lot of people said that when drawing with the pencil on the iPad Pro, it felt too glassy and it didn't have a very toothy feeling to it. I didn't quite see why people were complaining about this because I don't know if it's because I'm used to drawing on my iPad 3, iPad 3rd generation, or if it's just because, I don't know. I love drawing on tablets and the slickiness doesn't bother me and if you're not sure about that obviously just go to an Apple store and try it for yourself but I find no problem with this. The tip of the pencil is a little rubbery which is nice because it actually does give a little bit of traction to it. I think it just depends from person to person whether you're used to it or not. For the charging on the pencil you can plug it into your iPad like this. But a great thing about this is that it also comes with an adapter so you can plug it into a regular phone charger. So you plug this side into the adapter, the other adapter goes into the phone charger and you can charge it that way as well. I haven't had to use that yet because 6 seconds plugged into the iPad is equal to 30 minutes of battery life. Which is great for me because it doesn't slow down my workflow. Now I'm going to launch the app that I normally use. You can see it's already charged. I'm going to pull up a new document, new canvas, blank canvas, let's go with that. And we're going to play around with this a little bit. Though one of my favorite things about this tablet is the fact that with the drawing app Procreate, they came out with so many new features that my iPad 3 could not handle. With the processing, because the iPad has the processing of an actual computer, it can handle a lot more um, different specs. And so something I really love is that it has palm rejection. I can actually put my hand on the tablet while I'm drawing. People have said that they've had issues with this, but I haven't had a single issue with the palm rejection. 
as long as I'm using the pencil. I haven't tried it with other styluses. I used to use styluses from the dollar store. So you can see from my perspective, I love this pencil because it's such a huge step up from what I've been using. So now I'm going to show you a little bit of what makes this pencil so great. Some people say the thing, the pencil is too slick. I have seen people actually add little rubber covers on top, but again, it doesn't bother me. The pencil has a really nice weight to it, so it doesn't feel like it's just going to fly out of my hand and it feels like a real pencil. And I think that's what Apple was going for, is just the simplicity of a regular pencil. And people say they don't like the eraser. Again, I'm used to using a dollar, uh, a dollar stylus super cheap so I'm used to just switching back and forth from my drawing my drawing tool to my eraser to my smudge and the great thing about the pencil is into the settings you can change um, what you want the pencil to do so say you only want to use the pencil for erasing you can put that in the settings or say you only want your finger to be smudging and you can actually put that in settings to where only when you do this it'll only smudge which is something that's really cool. I haven't used it because I'm used to just switching back and forth between the drawing tools, smudging and erasing. So that's some, not something I necessarily need, but it's a cool plus. Now the pressure sensitivity on this pencil is just amazing. You can see how I press harder and lighter. This tool probably isn't a good example, so let's go to shading graphite. That might give a better example of the pressure sensitivity on this thing. So now I'm going pretty lightly and then darker, and then light again. This is great for gradients. And once again, it's gr another reason why this pencil simulates a real pencil, because it's, this is something I could not do before, because putting more or less pressure on a pencil comes naturally with a real pencil. So this is something that has saved me a lot of time. I haven't had to switch between darkness and opacity. I can just do it and not have to change the tool I'm using. I am going to go back to the pencil now. I'm going to go to the 6B pencil and show you another spec about this I really like. So I can draw straight up and down with the pencil like this and do fine lines. I'll kind of hold it up higher so you can see and like that. But if you want, you can turn it to the side as well. And it once again, it's simulating a real pencil in the way it moves. And the reaction time for this pencil is just absolutely amazing. I realize I'm talking a lot about the pencil other than the iPad Pro, but that's really what this whole thing is about. And that's the main reason why a lot of artists buy the iPad Pro is for the pencil because it doesn't work on any other tablet. Um, people are hesitant because this is a first generation and they don't know how it's going to work out. I have not had a single issue with this tablet so far and I think it is absolutely amazing. It has saved me so much time. It has a higher resolution capacity than my older iPad because I can work in the same pixel size I do on my old iPad which is around 3K by 4K but with more layers. On my old iPad I could draw on 3K by 4K with up to four layers because that's as much as my iPad could handle. On this iPad, I can do 3K by 4K with up to 39 layers, which saves me so much time and so much hassle. So the workflow in this is just so much better. It is so much easier to use. And the larger screen really does come in handy. I was concerned that I would have to hover my hand like I'm used to on my iPad, my old iPad, because it was my old iPad was just the right size to where it was easy to hold my hand on the side of the tablet or hover over when I was drawing because it doesn't have palm rejection. But because this does have palm rejection and it's a larger screen, it's easy for me to just drag my hand across the screen like I would on a piece of paper, even though you really shouldn't do that on a piece of paper because then you smudge all over your hand, but I do it anyways. <laughs> so enough of my rant, I just wanted to show you the amazing things about this tablet and what it can do. I would really recommend it to any artist that's looking to get a tablet. Um, it is not in a price range for a lot of people. Um, it is very expensive, but worth the investment if you are looking to become a professional artist. If you are looking to have more of a fun tablet, I would recommend going for maybe an older iPad Air or even an iPad Mini because they're much cheaper. Um, something you can play around with and experiment with to decide whether you want to be a professional artist or not. Me, 
that's a career I've chosen and decided, so this is also an investment for me and something that I think I will use for a very long time. So, once again, enough of my ranting. I hope this video was helpful. Oops. <laughs> Don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have about this tablet or anything else you might want me to show because I would be happy to help anyone who's trying to decide whether they want to get this tablet or not. So feel free to ask any questions you may have because I know I asked a lot of questions before I got this tablet as well. If you aren't ready and you'd like to be, be sure to join my pirate crew by hitting subscribe right there down below. Also, be sure to like this video if it was helpful, and once again, don't hesitate to comment any questions you may have. I have tons of art videos on this channel for things that... So if you're looking to improve your artwork, be sure to stick around. I'm here to help you guys, and I will see you guys next Friday.